Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and welcome back to Gold Rush. Now, I know a few of you have been nervous that maybe Gold Rush has ended on the channel because it's been a couple weeks, but I've actually been really busy in the game. Every time I've had a, a, some, some spare time, I've been mining here because I kind of got sick of this place, I gotta be honest, and uh, I think you guys were getting sick of it as well. Uh, just the gold mining episodes where we're not really buying anything, it was getting kind of stale. So I bit the bullet, and as you can see in the top right, we have enough money for the Nighthawk parcel now. So yeah, I've been uh, targeting this gold vein. If you remember, there's a gold vein that goes all the way pretty much to the end over here. I hit a really good node here, earned a lot of money. I pushed back this wall a little bit, I pushed back that wall, and uh, yeah, I did a lot off recording as per usual. Usual. So the good news is, well, it's four days to winter. We still have the permafrost time frame as well, but uh, it's time to move. I honestly, I hate this claim. Uh, I think a lot of you guys didn't really like it either. It's just the travel times, man. To get to my gold mining plant, uh, I, I just hate using the dump truck. I really do miss our old claim, honestly. And hopefully Nighthawk will have a nice vein close to uh, the extraction plant. That way we can use our, for our Frankensteins once again and not have to rely on a dump truck because the one thing I hate about this game is the fact that we can't hire actual employees and we have to jump vehicle to vehicle. That gets really annoying when you're the only person on the site. So, I'm saying goodbye. I don't even remember what this claim site was called. This is this has really been one that I didn't enjoy at all. And I think it kind of showed in the videos as well. It, it was more of a grind than anything else. So, let's get out of here and uh, let's get positive once again. And I am so damn excited because this has been such a long process to buy the Nighthawk parcel. What was this one called? Pine Valley. Screw Pine Valley, man. The veins are too far away. So we're buying Nighthawk Valley. Now we have about 500 grand over what we need and I can also get a loan. You gotta remember I have to buy the um, the vehicle slots. We can put one machine on parcel. We're gonna need a hell of a lot more than that. Uh, so we're gonna buy this right away. Oh yes, and there we go. Guys, we are officially at end game here. We still have to buy the tier five machinery, uh, which is obviously gonna be the goal from now on, uh, and obviously get the best yields of gold in this ground. I think I might actually wait to get to the best yields until we have the tier five so we get as much gold as possible. Uh, but yeah, I'm getting way too far ahead of myself. Let's add a couple machines on the slot just to see how much this is gonna cost me. We're gonna need at least four, I know that. Um, and we have, well, we actually, we still have a decent amount of money left. So I think we have five on the current one, Pine Valley, and that gives us two Frankensteins. So let's just add the fifth one, just because we have the money to do so now. Uh, that way we don't spend it later on. So yeah, I still got 400 grand. It's gonna take me, whoa, what, what am I doing? It's gonna take me probably till next season to move everything over. We'll probably just sleep throughout the winter anyway, so we can start fresh in the ground. But I do wanna get over there, obviously drill the ground like we did this ground, uh, figure out where the veins are, strategize for next season, uh, and we'll probably do the majority of that in this episode. So it's moving time, baby. Oh God, this is, this is stressful, but exciting as well. All right, so let's get back to our uh, computer here before it breaks down. This computer likes to really break down when it gets close to winter, so I'm gonna use this as much as I can today. Um, we're gonna have to move everything, so, oh, I forgot, this is gonna cost me money too. See, there's all these fees that I forget about, um, but yeah, we have currently, we have the drilling machine, we're gonna have to put that over there, so let's put that first. It's a good old Nighthawk Valley, so drilling machine goes over, 1500, so yeah, it's really not too expensive to move this stuff, and we're gonna have to move all this stuff, so move it, Move it. Okay, every I, I forgot that everything costs money, even even the non-vehicle things. The dump truck, yeah, we're probably gonna need that at the start, honestly, so let's move that over right now. Oh, God. Okay, the game's like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> All right, it did it. Hopefully I didn't lose any of my equipment because that would be pretty bad. Now, we still gotta move all the small stuff ourselves, the trailers and whatnot, uh, so we'll be doing that now. All right, and here we are at Nighthawk Valley, ladies and gentlemen, and this, I mean, I'm a little nervous. This is a huge mine, so I gotta remember where everything is. I have mined here before in my first season, so I do vaguely, oh, Jesus Christ. I do vaguely remember it. I think all the all the um, storage areas are over here, so we're gonna head over here, but look at the size of our digging space here, and I have no idea where the veins are, so you know what, let's just pull down in here. I think there's multiple ways to get in, but my God, compared to the other ones, this is gonna be some tough ground too. Look how hilly it is. I'm thinking probably the bedrock's gonna be the same way. So I don't know if we'll be able to do our strategy of going right to bedrock. We'll have to find out. But yeah, here's all our stuff. It's actually kind of close to the um, to the dig site as well. So everything can all go right here. 
Looks like we have a little bit bit of a bigger uh, den area there, as I want to call it. Uh, wow, all my stuff is... Is that my stuff? What the hell is that over there? Okay. We just got a, a down transport truck here. That makes me feel safe. Is there a highway up there? Like, what the hell happened here? All right, well, looking around, we got our big garage over here that we always get. Um, this is where the majority of the storage goes. It's actually less storage space, which... Um, I don't know. I don't know what to think about that. I gotta, I gotta strategize how I want to lay this place out. Obviously, this will be where we do our wash plant, probably. This is generally where I do them. Uh, that's where we can sell. Either that's our buy, actually, that's our buy zone. I don't know where our sell zone is. Oh, right here. Yeah, that's actually convenient. So it's all night, nice and close together. Got our camper up here. Where's our tent, though? Where we actually should be extracting the gold. I don't actually know where the tent is over here. Let's just take a walk around and see what we can find. We got another downed vehicle up here. Uh, clearly showing you the dangers of getting to this gold mine. Looks like we have a really big water source, so um, I, I do really like using the well water. I don't have to worry about drying up water sources then, so let's actually see how much the well costs here. Or sorry, the water tower, I should say. 150000 I probably will end up buying that. I'm not going to buy it right away, though, just in case we have uh, an expense I'm not thinking about. But... Unlike the other places, we actually have a pretty giant pond here. Uh, the other ones, we always have rivers. I don't know where my tent is. Did I miss it? Just gonna walk over here. So our claim goes all the way down into this valley over here. I'm wondering if there's gonna be good gold down here. I'm really excited to get into the drilling to see what's in this ground. Can we actually walk up here? No, it looks like this is just closed off, but our claim site goes all the way up into here. So I'm gonna be really curious if there's some really good stuff over here. I feel like there should be. Uh, looks like a, a good place for an old riverbed, and if you know anything about gold, it generally is found in ancient riverbeds. Looks like we got another wash site here. Uh, so we have two different areas to get water, which is good, because if we want to use that well water, we can. And we have two access points making it easier for us. Don't think there's really anything else. We do have a walkway up here. You know what? Let's just take a little wander. You know, we're, we're not in a rush. We're very early into the season right now. Uh, unlike usual, where I'm, you know, two days from permafrost coming. I have lots of time right now, so I can kind of enjoy this place and look around. Can I go over this? Oh, man. You blocked it off. You make... Oh, never mind. I got it. I wonder if I could get an excavator in here somehow. Usually, they block off the entrances, but I'm always curious how much gold is in here compared to the actual dig site. We might have, we might have to test that out later. Um, but yeah, here's our, uh, obviously, our um, tent right here. So yeah, everything's relatively close. I actually do like the layout of this place. It's much wider. Um, making storage going to be much easier. And yeah, just the generic shed that we've always seen, or garage, whatever you want to call it, uh, where we can store the majority of our stuff. So yeah, I have to move over a lot of stuff right now. We're going to quickly do that. And I think I'm just going to kind of throw it on the ground over here until they figure out where exactly I want to put everything. But I never actually realized how many down vehicles there are in freaking Haynes, Alaska. We got a, a helicopter in the middle of the pond by our old claim here. Jesus, like, what happened here? Well, freaking great. My tailgate decided to pop open, and I can't seem to close it now, and <laughs> I can't get rid of the magnetite trailer because I can't actually click <laughs> the damn trailer. Are you serious? All right, already we're experiencing the glitches. I haven't even brought over any of the big machinery yet, um, and just moving the small stuff, I'm getting glitch after glitch, so I think what we're gonna have to do Hopefully this works. I can't even see the damn truck here. We're gonna have to reset the truck though. This place is a freaking mess. An absolute mess. All right, please tell me. There's the truck. Let me, let me. Oh yeah, there's a countdown to restore things now. Why is that? That's so frustrating. Um, but yeah, we're gonna restore this. And well, we should be good now. The truck, I, I, I re restored the trailer, so. All right, now it's close. Thank you. All right, listen, Bucket. Do you wanna come with me or not? Do you, do you want to stay here at this piece of crap place? Jesus Christ. All right. This is getting ridiculous already, man. I am I am stressed out already. Frig off! All right. You know what? Frig, frig you. You're staying then. What the hell are you doing? Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to take all your friends with me. You're going to be here all alone because you're an asshole. Oh, are you going to freaking join him? Are you going to join him in this douchebaggery? Oh, man. I You're seriously stuck in there. Okay. I think this one's actually just stuck. <laughs> You know what? I give up. It's a bucket. I don't care. I'm a millionaire at this point in this game. I can buy a few more. All right, and that is it. We are all packed up. That only took like two hours, so uh, yeah. I gotta say, moving in this game is a, is a little bit frustrating. Just a little bit. And we're not even close to being done, damn it. 
So yeah, this is your last look at uh, this parcel claim. I gotta say, it's been it's been good to us. We've earned lots of money here. It's not been very fun for me, but uh, it has been a very lucrative business. Just gonna do one more quick run around, make sure we got everything, but I'm pretty sure I didn't leave anything down. Oh, did I, what the hell? Oh, a Frankenstein, that's right. You know, that's kind of an important thing, but that's right. We don't need it just yet, so the Frankenstein can chill here for the... Actually, we're gonna have to put it away for the winter. Mental note, definitely wanna put this thing away for the winter unless we, we wanna repair it. Um, but yeah, I think that is pretty much everything. So goodbye, hole in the ground. You've been very, oh, the light too, shit. Okay, um, damn it, I, got, I gotta manually bring that back too. God damn it, that means I need to come back because I have a trailer here already. Ah, uh, well that's frustrating, just, just to come back for a freaking light. Well, we'll get that later, I'm not worried about it right now. It's a good thing I checked though, god damn, I would've been like, the freaking game ate my light. But uh, no, it's just me forgetting about it. Uh, but yeah, I think we got everything in here too. And uh, yeah, goodbye. It's been nice, but I'm excited to move on. I'm really excited to move on. <gasps> oh man, that's not good. Oh God, this is Mother Nature giving a big F you to me. Did it go, did it go to Haynes? Come on, already? Man, I haven't gotten to moving the big stuff. Oh, I'm so mad right now. Where the hell is it? Okay, um, I'm looking totally at the wrong place. Uh, there's Haynes. Where the frig is my trailer? Okay, well, I hope we were close enough to the point where it went here. Because if it's back at freaking Pine Valley, I'm going to be so mad. Um, yeah. I don't know. I, I don't know. Oh, man. Oh, okay, my, my, I was like, where, where the hell is my engine? It's just because I'm zoomed out. This game's weird like that. But seriously, I lost my Christmas hood again. That's, the, that's like the third time my Christmas gift in this game I lose. Because of freaking glitches. God! I better not lost my magnetite separator, though, and my nice little trailer. Um, please tell me it's... Oh, God, that's the wrong way. <gasps> Dude, I... I don't know if I like the entrance to this place. It is... It is, it is pretty long. Yeah, I, I know at the start of this, I said it, it was a short drive to this place, but I forgot that I have to go around a freaking mountain, and, like, the driveway into this place is, like, five minutes long, so, um... Yeah, it, it, it's, it's been a long process to bring everything over here, but it always is. Uh, the one thing this game needs, man, is an inventory system. Like, I understand it's a physics-based game, but for the sanity of your freaking players, get an inventory system and not some stupid buckets that never actually hold the things and glitch out like crazy. I already had a vehicle explosion once today, and uh, it's probably due to my own stupidity. I mean, I have been clearly rushing this. Um, is my trailer here? Where... Is my trailer. I do not want to have to go look for my trailer right now. You know what? Screw it. We'll deal with that later. It's got to be somewhere. It's probably in Haynes. Uh, that or it's on my old site. So, we're here. Yay! I'm so happy because I just know how much freaking work I have to do to set this whole thing up. Oh, I, f I feel like I need a break already and I haven't even started. All right. Maybe I should actually organize this place a bit. It's going to be hard to maneuver these things <laughs> through this. Oh, I didn't even think about that, but we have big pieces of equipment. I have to drive through here with all this crap here. Yeah, that's not gonna work. You know what? I think we might leave that for another episode because I'm starting. Oh, there's my trailer. <laughs> okay, it did come with me after all. So that's one good thing, but I think we'll have a setup episode in the next one. What I really just want to do is drill because I'm so excited to see what's in the ground. Uh, so we'll do the drilling in this episode. I, I know I said I'd do a bit of the setup, but, um, well, I brought everything over. That's part of the setup as well. Uh, I really do have to organize all this, and I just, I just don't want to deal with it, guys. I mean, <laughs> I should have put everything away as I came here, but I was just in a rush to get everything over. It only took me a day, uh, but it was a very stressful day. So, yeah, let's, let's do something that's still very monotonous, but at least we get some sort of reward out of it. Uh, let's go get, get the old bulldozer out again and see what's in this ground here because that's truly what I want to know right now What's the yields compared to the river town or the hell the other name was no R R river town was tier three I forget I already forgot what tier four was tier four was a pain in the ass I don't care what, it, what its name was so yeah, I, I'm just gonna go randomly around right now I don't know if I'm gonna hit every node like I did in the last one that took me forever um, For right now, I think we'll just hit a bunch of random ones and see if we can find any of the big veins uh, And just kind of see what's in this ground because well, that's the exciting part. So yeah Getting the old drill out once again. It's always fun when you get this drill out. I don't get to use this thing too much And it's something totally different to do in this game 
Uh, but yeah, it does take forever. Every hole is like 30 seconds of doing nothing. Just staring at it drilling. Yay. Okay, and I think that's enough holes for uh, a quick sneak peek at what's in this ground. Now, uh, I did take a little sneak peek and my assumption was correct. At least I think so. Uh, I think the most of the gold's gonna be over here in this little uh, side area here, which is kind of interesting. It's gonna be interesting to try and mine out here and figure out a way to get it back as fast as possible. We're probably gonna have to use the dump truck, obviously. Uh, as you can see, in the distance there, if you squint, that's where our uh, gold extraction is gonna be. So yeah, we're definitely not gonna, not gonna be able to do Frankenstein's, unfortunately. But let's check out this place and see what we're working with on the actual map. So yeah, as you can see, um, big yields down here. Uh, total gold is actually only 4,000 in that one, but like right here, right at this little guy, 16,000, that's huge. Compared to parcel three, what the hell? I have no gold on parcel three. Wait, what's going on here? Does parcel two have gold? Wait, do I have to be there to see the gold in the ground? That doesn't make any sense. All right, I'm not, I don't actually remember what was on parcel two or three, but I want to say, again, don't quote me on this, but I think it's like 12,000 grams. So yeah, we got 12,000 there, 16,000. So I'm thinking there's going to be a nice, I mean, there's a pr pretty dry area over here. It looks like there might be a vein over here. This is a huge plot of land, guys. So uh, obviously we got uh, a lot still to drill, um, but it's looking like there's going to be a really good vein up here and then a really good vein possibly down here that might connect to together. I'm gonna have to do a lot more holes to figure it out. Uh, but yeah, I think that's gonna wrap it up for this one, guys. I know I said we'd probably get a lot more done today, but I always underestimate how hard it is to move all this stuff. And I think it was a pretty good episode anyways, saying goodbye to the old place, dealing with a bunch of glitches, doing a little bit of drilling today. And uh, yeah, I gotta say, I'm excited for this place. I think it's gonna be a challenge just like the last one, just looking at the terrain and whatnot. Uh, this train is gonna be fun to deal with to say the least, but I'm excited to get into it again And uh, yeah, obviously in the next one we're gonna deal with um, the mess that I made over there We'll clean up set up our uh, gold extraction site may I'm still thinking about buying the water tower We're down down to 300,000 bucks But we still got quite a bit of money in the bank and we should be able to do that because I don't really have anything to uh, pay off right now All I have is employee fees and that's really it. Uh, so yeah, in the next episode, we'll be setting up that, doing some more drilling. Maybe if we get lucky, uh, if everything goes smoothly, I would like to actually start digging into the ground, but I still don't fully know where we're going to start digging. Probably over, well, actually, I don't know if we'll start over there because I kind of want to get to the tier five stuff before I get to the best ground here. It just makes sense because we're going to get better yields there. But yeah, everything's over here. We moved it all today and uh, I have a big mess to clean up, and that's going to be fun to say the least. But yeah, thanks so much, guys, for all your support. I hope you guys are still enjoying the Gold Rush series. We're on Nighthawk, baby! This is the end tier of this game, and uh, yeah, I think it's going to be a really good ending to this game uh, once we get to the tier 5 and whatnot. And uh, yeah, I got to say, I like this place a lot more than the other place. It just looks more scenic. And I'm excited to get in there, man, but it's going to be a process to get that all set up. And uh, yeah, I'll be doing some more of that in the next one. So thank you guys so much for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.